Good morning, everybody. If you're on the Pacific Coast, if you're on the East Coast, good afternoon, or wherever you are around the world, good day to you, and thank you so much for joining us. I've got a very special announcement to make, but first I just want to explain you know, how we got here and where ClickUp came from. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Zeb Evans. I'm the CEO of ClickUp. Many of you have interacted with me on a day-to-day -day basis over the past two and a half years since we started through our feedback platform, through forums, through social media, through email, phone calls. I've even met many of you in person, but it's been a journey to get here. And, and how did it start, right? Well, ClickUp's actually started as an internal tool. It was a tool that we built um, from our own frustrations at other companies that I've started where we've had to have so many different teams working on different platforms. And I mean, prior to ClickUp, project management software was pretty freaking opinionated, right? They had told you how you had to work. And they were not very accommodating for different types of teams, different sizes, different use cases. So that first and foremost, that was the biggest problem that we were solving with ClickUp, was being able to use one application for all of your work. And we realized once we got started that this wasn't just a problem for our own selves, right? It was, it was a problem that the entire world was having. And fortunately, we were able to really have some incredible early users that gave us feedback, but still that happens today. The whole premise of how ClickUp grew, completely organically, by the way, we didn't spend a dollar on marketing until a couple months ago, is purely from listening to you, listening to users, and releasing new versions of ClickUp every single week, almost every single week for the past two and a half years. We, and I, still today read every single piece of feedback that comes into ClickUp. Every single piece, that's two hours of, of my morning. I sleep four hours a night, and I get up, and the first thing I do is I read feedback from you guys, good and bad. And we're constantly improving, right? We're, we're not there yet. You know, to be clear, the product isn't in a place where we're satisfied. And will we ever be in a place that's satisfied? Probably not. So that's why we're always going to continue shipping and releasing new version of ClickUp every week, you know? But the reality is that doing that enabled us to really think differently about a product where normally you have to listen to a certain vertical. You've got to listen to just engineers, you know, just marketing people. The whole vision for ClickUp was being able to work for everybody. No matter what type of team you are, what company you are, what size you are, what you do, we wanted it to work for everybody. I mean, ClickUp is it's for the builders, it's for the marketers, it's for the engineers, but it's also for the families, it's also for the mom and pops, it's also for your personal use case, right? It's for people even building rockets. So the complexity scale is as much as you want it, right? It can start simple and build, build complex. But the problem with doing that, the problem with not targeting any market, um, is that everybody tells you you're stupid, right? Everybody tells you you can't do that. You need to choose a market and go with it. And that's a huge reason why early on, nobody would fund us, right? We, we didn't have a choice to get money from anybody. And so we had to build our product. You know, I was, I was all in on this, completely all in on this. And ultimately what that led to was this extreme obsession with product and extreme urgency. Now, I, I had four near-death experiences in my life, and that's created incredible urgency to releasing not only ClickUp, but to just doing things in general, right? Changing things about the world before you're gone. And that's infiltrated our company uh, more so than I think any other company right now, where we all have this amazing urgency to doing things. We have to get it done, and, and we will. And I think that that's a great, uh, example of the reasons why we've been able to, to get so far completely organically. Now with that said, right, we're at a point now where our product is there. Again, it's not perfect, but it's there. And we have to defend ourselves, right? We've got to, go, we're going up, it's David versus Goliath here. We've got to defend ourselves. And in order to do that, I'm announcing today that we've raised our Series A at $35 million from some incredible partners, right? We've got two partners, Craft Ventures, and our partner is, is David Sachs, who was 
part of the PayPal mafia. He worked with legendary entrepreneurs and he himself is also who created Yammer, um, which he sold to Microsoft and very, very uh, similar situation to where we are today as far as product led growth. And also Georgium Partners, who um, is incredible users of ClickUp, but also very operationally excellent. And they can help us in many areas where we lack, but they also have some of the best in class machine learning engineers in the world. And we're introducing a new machine learning part of ClickUp. It's not bullshit. It's not using the artificial AI stuff. It's going to be real machine learning that's predictive and it helps you improve the way you work. It helps you be more efficient. Right. What else? What are we going to do with the money? Well, we're not just going to go blow it like, like other companies. Right. We're going to spend it on the things that we know we need to fix. We know that we need to make ClickUp incredibly fast. Right. And we're going to do that. We also need we also know that some users, it's hard for them to pick up ClickUp right off the bat. Right. It can be a very inc incredible product. But what that does, you know, it's, it's not your simple to do as product. Right. So we're going to make the product more optimized for everybody, no matter if you're, you know, the mom and pop or if you're, you're working at SpaceX. The third thing is mobile, right? Are, are we've definitely, you know, treated mobile kind of as a second class citizen in some ways. And we're going to go back and we already have started to go back and we're close and we're going to make all three of those things best in class. Right? We're going to make it really fast, really, really freaking fast. We're going to make it really easy to use and we're going to make our mobile experience the best in class. And I hope you can trust me on that. And I really, really, again, just want to recap with this by saying that I thank you from the bottom of my heart, all of our early users and users today still that give us feedback. And if you don't give us feedback, give it to us because I swear I'm listening to it, right? Our whole product team is listening to it. Our whole company listens to your feedback and we will never change. We won't change. That, that's my promise to you is we're not going to be a company that just goes around and spends a bunch of money and hires as many people as possible and grows at all costs, right? We're not that company. We're a sustainable company. We've got a sustainable business model and we've got sustainable users. And our focus, our obsession is product. It's urgency and product. And, and we're never going to change. So again, just recapping by incredibly grateful for all of you, especially our early users. And let's continue making the world more productive together.